Hey guys, this is Martin from AI Security Expert. And today I wanna to show you a couple of initiatives from companies who try to automate penetration testing, bug bounty and so forth with AI technology. So um, if you take a look here, like the first one is etihack.com. Um, I believe they're based out of Europe and effectively it's like penetration testing automated penetration testing with AI. And you can see here, like they have like yearly plans, for example, like up to 50 assets. So there will be like AI automation, uh, automated pen testing, attack surface management, and things like this. This is all in its infancy. So it's not really like sophisticated yet. And I didn't have a, a chance to play with those things myself. Um, what's for sure is that a lot of the manual penetration testing might be replaced with AI pen testing in the short term, midterm future. That's my prediction, um, at least. However, uh, there will be still a lot of work for security professionals, uh, particularly because those bots and those LLMs, which will be doing this job, will be doing a lot of mistakes and will increase the attack surface. Um, as well for the organization, because, you know, like if you can effectively penetrate one of those machines or LLMs, and then you could create a lot of problems so that there, there will be a lot of work for security professionals. My opinion is that like anyone who specializes now in AI security, that's quite a um, good field to be in um, simply for the reason, because um, even though a lot of the other things might disappear or, or might get automated and things like that. Um, security around these AI systems, especially when they are being deployed on a global scale in enterprises everywhere, there will be a lot of um, need for people to secure those AI systems and pen test those AI systems and stuff. But back to the topic. So another one here is um, this one. This is like runs civil and attack is your best defense yeah which i agree and this is again like another uh, initiative where uh, you automate the future of pen testing well you basically automate your pen testing another one here is the ip corp um, for web pen testing specifically so this is again something and uh, once again i haven't played with with any of those or i don't have any benchmarks but i just collected a few of them because i got a lot of questions around this um another one here is so-called uh, steris.tech so this is again for application security particularly and then ones which particularly caught my eye is this one here expo and Expo effectively, so they ran this against the port swigger labs and it was able to basically solve 75% of the port swigger labs and 72% of the pen tester lab exercises. Now, um, I presume where this thing is struggling is business logic. So the usual thing where you need human brains, where you cannot just automate stuff. You know, I get it with cross-site scripting. There is like a methodology to it to find the cross-site scripting vulnerability in an input, but when it comes to business logic, information disclosure, and all these kind of things, I think AIs will struggle for the foreseeable future with these kind of vulnerabilities um, because that requires like the human brain to really understand an application, and it's just not there yet. I mean, this is um, it's interesting though that that uh, you know if 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 you do those, it will probably take you a week for an for an experienced pen tester, and I, I think they call this out somewhere on the website. Um, I, I can't find this right now, but, but, um, they called it out. I, I read it that I think it took it like 30 minutes to solve all the ports trigger labs and, and a senior pen tester like myself would probably take a week without knowing these labs and, and stuff like that. So it's quite impressive, right? Like, um, especially for the low hanging fruit, I would call it, it will not it will not excel on stuff like zero days and things because it just can't, right? Like, so zero days, new vulnerabilities being um, discovered by researchers, it, the AI will have no knowledge of that. It can only use the data sets it already knows. So it knows how to, how an IDOR works. It knows how access control works. It knows those kind of things. But um, in the, in, 
you know, this is where the, where the human brain comes in to um, find vulnerabilities which the AI simply cannot find on its own because it's quite dumb, right? Like it's not smart. Um, once again, it's only predicting the next token based on the data sets it was trained with. So it doesn't have the, the human reasoning and things like that yet. But uh, that's going to be interesting, you know, like how these things play out and um, what kind of false positives they will provide as well. And certainly interesting times. But I wanted to do this quick video so you guys um, can check these websites out and uh, judge them for yourselves, like what you think um, is going to take off and what is not. And But there is effort being put into the automation piece with the AI um, for, for penetration testing engagements. That's all for today. Um, have a good day and I see you in the next video.